Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForward.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to route the HTC Butterfly X920D. So the 920D is the international variant, the one without an FC uh, and a 4G LTE but with a micro SD card slot. So uh, there are two parts to this video. The first part is where we go ahead and unlock the bootloader. And the second part is where we get super user access and a custom recovery in the form of clockwork mod recovery. All right, so uh, first off, let's get the bootloader unlocked. So before you unlock the bootloader, make sure that you take a backup of everything that's important to you because unlocking the bootloader meaning means uh, wiping everything. All right, your phone will be wiped clean. The process of unlocking the bootloader is similar for all HTC phones released since September 2011. So if you are aware of how to unlock the bootloader, you can quickly skip to part 2 of this video to get super user access and custom recovery. Or if you are not sure on how to unlock the bootloader, follow on. Alright, the first thing you do guys is hit link 1 from the, uh, from the download section in the description and that will take you to this page. Uh, just scroll down, click here and uh, you will get HTC Sync. So download HTC Sync, install it run it once and close it you have to close it all right and then link two in the description will get you a zip file fastboot.zip so get it and unzip it uh to, to your c drive all right c drive slash fastboot and you will have three files inside so uh do these two and once you've done with that open up your browser and head on over to htcdev.com in htcdev.com create an account and sign in it's mandatory so once you've done that uh, click on unlock bootloader hit get started and uh, like I said since September September 2011 for all devices you just scroll to the end and select all other supported models and now hit begin unlock bootloader so when you get a pop-up, hit yes. Check these two boxes. And hit proceed to unlock instructions. So guys, at this point, what you do is hold the power button. Power off your phone. Now once the phone's off, hold down volume and power. Just keep holding it. And you will get to uh, the bootloader mode. So over here, your volume key is act as navigation buttons and the power, power key doubles as the selection button. So over here, go to fast boot and hit the power button. All right, so leave it as it is. So that's what the first four instructions are for. So now what you do is connect the phone to the PC with your micro USB cable. Just fumbling with the flaps here. All right. Just connect it. And and leave it as it is. So you can skip all these steps. Uh because we've got we've we've done that already, uh and that's how we got the fast boot files. So you can skip all these steps here. And now proceed again so what we do here guys is go to C drive slash fastboot all right and here and now hold the shift button and right click here and select open command command window here so guys now type in the command fastboot 
o e n get underscore identifier underscore token and hit enter so at this point if you get stuck with a waiting for device message first off check and check to make sure that HTC sync is not running in the background if it is running close it if it's if and then uh, hit the command again if you still get uh, stuck at waiting for device hit link 4 from the description and that will get you a exe file called HTC driver install it reboot your PC and uh, type on the command again and this time uh, and this should get you the identifier token so what we need to do next is scroll down so right click mark select everything from the starting of the bracket here identify a token start to identify a token end control C to copy it now uh, at the end of this page you will have uh, my device identifier token and text box there so over here hit control V and hit submit if you don't include the identifier token start and identifier token end you will get an error here and uh, the page will not accept it so make sure you copy everything from the first bracket here to the last bracket here all right hit submit so once you've submitted this an email will be sent out to the account uh, using which you registered uh, on htcdev.com so go to your email address and here you get the email and there will be an attachment here unlock underscore code dot bin so download it and save it to c drive slash fastboot all right just save it over here and now in the email you'll have a link saying click here to continue the bootloader unlocking process so now go back to the command prompt and this time type in fastboot flash unlock token space unlock underscore code dot b i n and hit enter all right once you do this you will get a prompt here on your phone stating unlocking the bootloader allows you to install a custom operating system blah 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 and you get two options here yes to unlock bootloader and no do not unlock bootloader so guys uh like i said like i said earlier if you unlock the bootloader that means you will be losing all your data on the phone it will be wiped clean so before you do this make sure that you have taken a backup all right so now volume up to yes unlock bootloader and hit the power button all right so we are back up here and that's it the bootloader has been unlocked now so just go ahead uh, run through setup get your phone set up and uh, click on the link in the description and that will take you to my next part of this video the part where we are going to get super user access and install a custom recovery like clockwork mod recovery you can either get just super user access or if you if you also want a uh, custom recovery you can also get that installed again the link is in the description and it is it is also annotated onto this video and before you go make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons um, every time you hit the like button it increases the chances of youtube suggesting the, uh, this video to more people so go ahead help me out hit the like and subscribe buttons before you continue to the next part of the video guys so that's it for now thanks a lot for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next part of this video bye bye now